Hey everybody and welcome to a new thing on the channel and this may be a very quick thing because this is uh, probably more of a toy than a game if I'm going to be honest from what I understand about it. It's very short, only maybe one or two hours so um, this is Depaneur Nocturne. It's a, it's a little game based in a magical, mystical Montreal, Canada. Um, it's of course in English and French as, as it is vi very, uh, very Quebecois. Um, also have to point out the, uh, the quality, s uh, selectors. D do we have potato, do we want potato quality, fry quality, or poutine quality? Give me that poutine quality. Alright, so... Let's play, let's play, uh, let's play Depp and their Nocturne, why don't we? I don't know the, I don't know the, uh, the controls, but we'll find out. First time I've ever played, seen very little of the, the game. Alright, that's us, I suppose. It's, it's, it is in first person, so. Alright, um... Off there is just like the void. Don't go that way. That's the void. Uh, all right. Of course, was to to move. So to cave. Hello. Is anyone in there? Yeah. Okay. Um. Oh. Yeah. I don't know what you're selling or you're trying to get elected to, but sure, whatever. Yes. Yeah, so the the purpose or the thing about the game is that uh, it's nighttime, we are out trying to uh, get a last minute present for our significant other, and the only place that's open is uh, the Depaneur, which is a uh, very, um, a very French-Canadian name for like a, a convenience store, a little a little community, little corner store that sells alcohol. So I see someone has put their bike here, chained their bike up, and and uh, their entire bike frame got stolen, and they left the one wheel behind. All right, we got uh, we got lotto tickets. It's uh, they got wine, they got cider, they got beer. Hello. Oh, bonsoir. I don't know how you really said that. I think that's... <laughs> like, not bonjour, because that would be good Good day, good morning, good something. Uh, let's, let's reply in English because we are, in fact... I don't speak French, as obviously, because I don't know how to pronounce uh, bonsoir there. So let's, let's, let's go with the English. Uh, good evening. Don't be shy. Come over here where I can see you. Alright. I'll come see you. Hello, madam. Welcome. I have a feeling you're, you're looking for something specific. Did you brave that downpour to come here? Is that your mouth or is that your nose? That's your mouth, isn't it? Um... Uh, that's right. I, I don't speak French. Stop giving me the French options. My partner's been working a lot of late nights. This is us speaking. I want to surprise her with something when she gets home. We're new around here, and yours was the only place I could find that was still open. Ah, how sweet. I'll ignore how you just implied you're only visiting my fine establishment out of desperation. Sorry, I didn't mean to be rude. Your place really does look nice. <laughs> no problem, I was only teasing you. Anyways, I've got baking soda, paper towels, crackers... I don't think any of those are a particularly good gift. But I also have some unusual things on my shelves that might make good gifts. Go ahead and browse. Just bring over anything you're curious about and I'll tell you about it. With that road work outside, nobody's coming by anyways. I'm not exactly busy. Alright, what is making the rhythmic beating sound? 
Can we stop that? Like, that's just annoying me. Um, it sounds like a metronome. Can we, can we just stop the metronome sound? What is that? All right. Uh, all right, so this is the inside of the store. We're just here to we're just here to shop and uh, look around. I can't get through, so let's uh start at the front of the store. What do we got? Um, hmm. All right. Uh, what are you what are you selling? I know you're not the store, but let's just take one of those. I'll take them all. Thank you. I don't know what you're selling. It's an advertisement for a local portaling service. All right. It's the calling card of a loose geometry collection agency. All right, I'd like to portal. Sure. So I took a couple. I'm sorry, I took I took two. That's that's wrong of me. I know. Um, anything in these drawers? No. Just generic things. Okay. Um, oh, a little little capsule game. It takes dollar coins. I don't have any dollar coins, I'm afraid. But if I found some. Uh, coffee pot? Oh, the coffee is complimentary. Help yourself. I don't really drink coffee in real life, so, uh, I don't know if I drink coffee in games either, so, can't help but notice you got a little stain here. You know what? Maybe I will drink coffee in game. It's late. Oh, oops. Kind of clumsy, huh? Yeah, I'll pick that up. Let's put it down on the spot. There you go. Fill it up. Put the pot back. Uh, maybe I'll take some uh, some cream. I can't take the cream or the sugar. Put a lid on that bad boy. All right, achievement unlocked. Barista, I'll take my coffee, please. Well, um, you know what? Here, you can have this. Would you like your coffee? You poured yourself a coffee. Enjoy it. I don't know how. I just threw it on the ground. What if I right click? Ah, a little bit, little bit of a slurp. Hey, there was a cat here a second ago. I swear to you, there was a cat sitting on this counter. It, oh, there, that's the clock. Okay, can I? I'm, I'm done. Coffee's, coffee was great. Thank you, madam. Um, can you please stop this clock? Just, just no. Uh, can I come in the back? No, I... Yeah, yeah, just, just... Let's just, let's just turn that off. We don't, we don't need that. Uh, one, one, one little plant in a, uh, in a broken teacup. Hey, what happened to that cat you had? I don't... Um... Help yourself to those tarts. They're getting stale. I haven't had anyone buy in hours. Oh, well, thank you. I, I would, uh, love one. Thank you. Hmm. Let me close the door back up there. Thank you. What's what's in your little black book? That's my black journal. I write the, ni the names of rude customers in there so I can put curses on them later. I uh, hope we're not one of them. Okay, I'm joking. It's just an inventory list. Can I see? No. Okay. A warning notice about how corporeal slippage may result in sudden descents. A portrait of a hound with a sort of ex a sort of sensitive expression on its face. All right, so obviously the game is very surreal. Oh, what's this? A dollar coin? Hey, it is a dollar coin. Hey, there's the cat. 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 Hi. Oh, we can pet the cat. Pet the cat. Achievement unlocked. Menu. Um, I pet your cat several times, madam. You okay with that? What is this, like, some kind of strobing flashlight? An inspection lantern. Standard issue lantern for metro inspectors. I found this one in the sub-basement and we had some of the old pipes repaired. It's constantly flickering and I can't figure out how to turn it off. But I've had it for ages, so I guess the battery life is really good. Do you want to buy it? No. 
All right, no problem. Yeah, I'm gonna put it back. I can't take something you've had for ages, so I'm just gonna just gonna just gonna put that right back there. All right, it is uh, out of order. This ATM, it looks like. As you can see, that poor uh, e we. You gree shit? <laughs> I've never even ran into that word even slightly before, so... It has a fever. Technology always seems to do strange things around me. I don't know what it is. Yeah, um... Uh... Madam? Um... Madam? It has eyeballs, madam? H have you seen this before? All right, uh, I'll just keep pressing buttons then. Uh, feed? You know what? I feel like, uh, maybe, maybe, yeah, maybe that's for the best. We'll, we'll just leave it at that black screen. Uh, another dollar coin, you say? Give me, give me your, give me your coins. Give me your coins. I will have your coins. Ooh, what, what, what do we have here? Some leopard jeggings? Oh, madam. Madam, yeah. I was talking about you. Um, why, why... Does your ATM machine? I know that's redundant to say ATM, automated teller machine machine. Um, why does your ATM have eyeballs and you also have a shirt with a bunch of eyeballs on it? Are you somehow connected to the weird stuff going on? I know you say it just happens around you, but are you sure you're not causing it? Um, tell me about yourself, madam. I run this depanor. What else would you like to know? Uh, what's your name? My name is Eugenie. Happy to meet you. What can you tell me about this shop? It's a family business. My parents used to run this place, and we lived upstairs. Now it's just me. I try to keep it in good shape. There's a lot of memories here. It was a bit different when they ran it. I'm kind of trying to make it my own thing. What's your story? I was born and raised here. My parents used to run the shop, and I helped them out until I moved out on my own. I studied the mystical art, but could never hack a career out of divination. People have turned their backs on that stuff. Then, then times got lean, so I worked as a fern, furnaceer? Like, a furnaceer? So, I mean, sounds like someone that works on furnaces, but I don't think that's probably what you mean. The oven bosses are always hiring us salamanders because we're immune to the fires, huh? Uh, you're a lizard? For real? I guess I can kind of see it. I can kind of see your lizardy face. Um, excuse me, salamandery face. The heat might not bother me, but I much prefer to be somewhere cool and damp. So I came home. Plus, my parents retired, and I figured it was my turn to try out the shopkeeping business. Uh, is that your cat? Oh yes, that's Ron Ron. She's been in the shop for as long as I've been alive. Kind of wonder how old she is, really. She's sneaky, but very friendly. If you should see her, you should give her a pet. She's as soft as a cloud. Um, yeah, what am I looking for, precisely? Hmm, I'm not exactly sure what you're looking for. I'm sure if you keep poking around, you'll find it. I just have a feeling. Anything else? Uh, do, do you have a restroom? Ah, sorry, the washroom's for employees only. Anything else? Uh, never mind. Alright then. Alright, what else we got? Crazy eyeball shirt. Skull shirt. Checkerboard shirt. Uh, madam? You just got a pair of underwear hanging up? Well, I mean, we gotta... Oh, we can zoom with a right click. Okay, zoom. Just just making sure there's nothing nothing too fanciful. Oh, I like this jacket, though. Let's leave that jacket for later. Anything else? Lots of eyeball-related merchandise, madam. Um... Yeah, what about this jacket? I love that. Uh, yeah, I mean, check that out. 
Stylish. I don't know. Looks like it has a fancy little brass brooch on it there. Uh, I'll take this. A salamander coat. A very fine jacket. It's woven from salamander hair, so it's totally fireproof. Is it your hair? When I was a student, I cut my hair very short or short every summer. I sold it to weavers in the fashion district who made garments like this. That's an easy way for poor salamander to earn some pocket money. You want to buy it? It's kind of weird now that you told me the story, but yes, I would. I'll just bag this for you and you can keep looking around. Just let me know when you're finished. Thank you very much. Ooh, some DVDs of the Improbable Excursion with Bind Mandreau and Polly Scutz. Uh, what's, is this like uh, The Hangover? What's, what's, some things. It's 92 minutes long. Well, that's good. Some things just don't make sense. Uh, y yeah, like most of what's, hey. Most of the stuff going on here doesn't make sense, but tell me about this DVD. Improbable excursion on DVD. My little sister has a role with a single line in this. She got me 50 copies of it. It's got some cute moments, but I wouldn't say it's laugh out loud, loud funny. But would you say it's 92 minutes long? Oh, also, a terrible curse will befall you five days after watching it. Just kidding. Um, you're the kind of person that I would expect is actually not kidding about that. Or am I? You want to buy it? Look, yes, I do want to buy it. Sure, I'll bag it and add that to your total. Oh, it's, it's twenty-five fifty, huh? I didn't see how much the uh, the jacket was on its own. We got some cider, uh, some cider de mint. I've only heard of creme de mint. All right, what what do we got? Anything in the the? Ooh. It's a whole another section over there? How long have I been playing this game? <laughs> it's like, it, I could have been playing for t five minutes or I could have been playing this for like three hours and not known it. Okay, I'm in the little freezer section. Well, that's ominous as crap. Like, I fully, I kind of expect me to be uh, locked in here. Hello. I am regarded by the cold gaze of a machine. What's this? Oh, I guess that's a price sticker. Is that what that is? The little gold thing? Is that the price sticker? Um, let's see what else we have before uh, we can put that back. I think that's a giant... I don't know what that is. It looks like a cabbage or something. A big turnip. You should probably get that fixed, madam. That looks like a... Looks like a hole in time and space. Um... You know what? I'm gonna go ask you about this. Close the close the close the door behind me. What what is this? What is this, madam? A bottle of mushroom milk. I love this stuff. I drink it straight, but I'll admit it's an acquired taste. It's earthy, like the smell of fresh rain. Ooh, petrichor. That's a nice word to know. I'll put I put it in my coffee. Do you want to buy it? You know what? Yes, I'm a sucker for new things, and mushroom milk is definitely a new thing. Sure, I'll bag it and add to your total. All right, thirty-one forty-five. Okay, I gotta go back and deal with that time-space rupture you got going on in your in your uh, freezer here. Looks like the leak is under control. Are you? No, no, the leak is not under control. The leak is momentarily contained, but that's not under control. That looks like a whole other door. Alright, uh, never mind. Don't slip and fall. Hey! Cat! You better get- Get out of the freezer, cat! It's too cold in here for cats! Cats are desert creatures that like warm things. This is like some kind of giant turnip? A bit of a rutabaga? Cat? You, you got a weird establishment, lady. Um, madam? 
Madam. What is this thing? Oh, that's a turnip. Really? Just a standard old turnip? A starchy tuber. I picked this one myself. I find them sometimes when I tidy the family plot up in the mountain cemetery. Oops. A cemetery? Turnip? They grow wild there. They're actually sort of invasive. I got that one three years ago? It hasn't aged a day. I think it must be haunted. I bet it would make a great soup. Hey, seems like you're struggling to find the perfect gift. Only, I noticed that you've brought me the most unusual objects from my shelves. Well, I have an idea. I can help you out. I practice a particular kind of divination based on objects. I think even inanimate things have a destiny. Somewhere they're supposed to end up. I tried to shepherd these objects to their intended owners. I don't get much opportunity to practice it these days, but maybe with my talents, I could help you find what you're looking for. Are you interested? Yes, definitely. Or I'd like to shop more. I mean, yeah. Alright, I have a room in the back with some of the stranger objects I've collected. Meet me there and I can help you. The door is in the back of the fridge. It's through there. Come around and I'll unlock it. As for that, you want to buy it? Yeah, I'll buy your haunted turnip. There you go. Um, I do want to use my money on the, the machine here, though. Look at. Um. Alright. What do we got? One small figure of a dodecahedron head? Can you tell me what this is? Oh, that's an orchard doll. These little figurines are handmade by artists in the orchard region. Every one of them is unique. They each represent a different minor deity in the always growing orchard pantheon. You want me to put this in the bag for you? Yes, please. Sure, I'll just put it away and you can keep shopping. All right, we're up to uh, $33. Uh, give it another spin. And this time we have uh, some kind of weird uh, pigeon head. What is weird pigeon head? That's no orchard doll. Should I tell you about it again? Uh, no, thanks. Yes, put it in the bag. Another orchard doll? Let's use our last dollar. Um, we have small duckling. Actually, that looks like a, a gooselet. I don't know. Is there a thing for a baby goose? Uh, with a uh, with an ice cream spoon, specifically an ice cream spoon. No, uh, no, thank you. Yes, put it in the bag. All right, 23 minutes have elapsed. We've gotten some really weird things. We've seen a teleporting cat. Uh, we're gonna go through a special door in the back of the freezer. Yeah, close that. Um. All right, um, obviously I go to the left, but what's in the right? Just some, uh, stuff? This, this, this game is recording, right? Because there's no way I can make this up. Okay, clearly I should probably come through here, but... In the world? No, you must want me to come in here, but... What is all this? Bunch of snapshots. Previous visitors, maybe? Okay, let's look in your security room. Don't mind me, madam. Uh, just, just got lost. That's all. Uh, hmm. Smells like mushrooms. Oh, that's her mushroom coffee. You can see the whole shop from here and somewhere else. Yeah, because this is the shop. This is like the freezers, and where is this? It's a vintage data protection charm. I wonder if it still works. I mean, it's kind of cool. I love the three and a half inch, uh, or not three and a half inch. That's a five and a quarter inch floppy disk kind of looking thing. Love that. Uh, can't go through that door. All right, um, moving on. Oh, 
Ah, you've arrived. Yeah, I, uh... I had to take a quick detour. Welcome to my collection. Oh, this is you and your family? Oh, I, I, I do see the resemblance. Definitely see the, the smile now. You can probably guess who that is. I was such a little dork. That's my parents, taken before I was born, I think. Aren't they adorable? That's Granddad, from my father's side, in front of the family homestead in the old country. That's my grandma, from my mother's side. She was the last real witch in the family. I learned a lot from her. That's me and my little sister. She's an artist. She lives out the orchards now, so I don't see her as much as I'd like. Does she make the dolls that you put in the little uh, capsule machine? That's my grandpa, on my mom's side, and his dance team. That's Beb, the goddess of luck, poverty, and random fortune. Alright, so, uh, thanks, Beb. Onus, the goddess of interiors, time, and the cosmos. Yeah, I'll talk to you in a minute, lady. I just want to look at your things. That's Agra Mona, the goddess of romance, family, and generosity. This is Eduel, the goddess of music, drugs, and celebration. That's Vala, the goddess of discipline, courage, and daring. And finally, Loster, the goddess of loot, influence, and good deals. Alright. Welcome, so here's what I'm thinking. All of these objects are adrift in the world. They're looking for their owner. I can tell that one of them is meant for your partner. Bring me anything from this connect collection and I can tell you about it. But you have to be the one to make the decision about whether it's the right one for your partner. Uh... What's about this dagger? That's a bully knife. A classic one. Neighborhood toughs used to strut around with these tucked in their sashes. It's just for show when the blade is dulled. The important part is the look of the hilt. Some old timers still carry them around. These days they go for the fancy ones with blades made out of quartz or ceramic. Yeah, I'm putting that back. We got a goblet. We got a skull. Um... We have uh, some kind of weird ecosystem and a little sphere. Some sort of deer with some fish saddlebags. Is this a salamander egg? That's the precious big egg. It's a beautiful egg from an unknown mother. Maybe a cockatrice? A seal prevents it from hatching indefinitely, but if you choose to remove that seal and incubate it, you could find out what's waiting to hatch. Of course, you'd have to feel confident you could take good care of whatever's in there. Yeah, I'm not... I'm not that confident. Honestly, you, uh... can have it. The Jeweled Chalice. This was originally meant for honey... honey pouring ritual. It's blessed. It's fully blessed and warded. It's a nice solid cup. I've made root beer floats in it. Ah, the skull of yearn. We don't really know who she was, only that she left very specific instructions that her bones should end up somewhere cool. If you think you know a good place for this, I'm willing to entrust you with it. I'm not. I don't know any cool places for a skull. What about the... What about this thing? A votive animal figure. It depicts a benevolent, four-legged mammal bearing a gift of fish. When good luck comes your way, you're meant to throw a figure like this into the bog. It's a thank you gift for the wild spirits. No, no thank you. I think what I'm really after is this e ecosphere in a sphere. It's, it's literally an ecosphere. Unless it's, like, cursed. The habitat orb? There's a little worm in there, peacefully dreaming. It's very rejuvenating to be near a creature that's so comfortable. 
The ball is a closed system with its own atmosphere. The worm has such a small, a slow metabolism that it will sleep in there for years. Well, now you're familiar with everything in the collection. If you could choose one thing from here to take home with you, what would it be? Let the object speak to you. I mean, I'm definitely taking the weird worm, unless... Does the, if the worm wakes up, does it devour the world? Because if that's true, I don't want it. But if it's just a cool worm, I'll take it. There's a vibration here. Should I tell you about it? Or is this your gift? Uh, this is my gift. This is what you want? I want you to be certain. Yes. Hmm. All right. I believe you. It's done. This is yours now. You've made an interesting choice. The orb may express comfort, softness, being contained and separated from the world, or turning inward. Does your partner need a respite from the world? Or perhaps she feels jaded and could soften her outlook? That's just my interpretation, though. I'm really happy I've been able to practice my craft on you. There's just one more thing we have to do. Hold on a moment. I'd like to keep a record of the people I've helped. Ready for your portrait? Smile. Achievement unlocked cheese. A successful expedition. Back in the apartment. I think she'll like this. Hello, my bichette. Welcome back, creature. Long night, huh? I actually got home before you did for once. Oh, what's this? You brought me something? What weird little dolls. They're cute. I love them. Oh, I've seen these before. They're all different, right? I'm going to name this one Button. You got me a turnip? That's nice. We can make a soup out of it. It looks pretty huge, actually. Oh, some mushroom milk. I haven't had that in ages. I think it's really tasty, though. A movie? I've never heard of this one. It looks sort of ridiculous. Want to watch it tonight? You really got a bunch, huh? A very fine coat. It's really soft. That'll keep me warm this winter, huh? Amazing. You went all out. And... Something else? Whoa, something special? This little worm is my friend now? Yes. There, I thought you'd like to be surrounded by plants. Sleep tight, little worm. I hope you like your new home. Just looking at you sleeping there is making me feel sort of... Oh god, you're cursed. Hey. My little bichette. Wake up. Sorry, I spaced out for a second. I just feel so relaxed being around it. What I wanted to say was thanks for this new friend. He's perfect. But you didn't need to get me anything. I'm just happy to see you. Alright, there's all our gifts. So we've probably beaten the game in 33 minutes. Like I said, it's more of a toy than a game. And there's so many more things that I think you can access like you can get at the store so i feel like there's more under the covers that we just didn't see um there's tons of of uh achievements for this game i believe and we got uh, only a handful so but i think this is a good i guess this is a one and done probably unless i get some great reviews and comments and people saying that they want to see more um but this is probably it or Depaner Nocturne, maybe. Um, it's 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 fun. It's a nice little it's a nice little time waster in a weird, weird setting. I liked it. Uh, give it a go if you want. It's cheap. It's four ninety nine US when I picked it up. Give it a go. Buy it. Play it. Figure out some weird stuff. Get that weird dagger or the weird skull. I don't know. But uh, thanks for joining me. Hope you enjoyed it and hope to see you again in another video next time.